how do you describe something so complex in one word? If I had to describe Cyark in one word, boom! We just started something and it was working and then we did it another year and then four years later there were 100 people there. SciArc is for the students and SciArc is for the faculty to allow the students to learn and to come after the faculty who is still learning to teach and learning to build. It's hard to wrap your mind around when you have a conversation, say, between Ben Van Berkel and Frank Gehry and Eric Moss at a, at a lecture. So it's a bit of a humbling experience. You can't forget this, you know, even just this building. I mean, walking that quarter of a mile, seeing this, this passion everywhere. But I think even having things like the Sci Art Gallery, where faculty are asked to exhibit their own work and to present the work, uh, to discuss it with the director, and faculty who are teaching are kind of put on the spot. There is a culture which has to do with always questioning the status quo, and there is a culture of encouraging you to develop ideas and to allow you to fail. So in other words, I think that you have to take risk and you have to learn that taking risk and failing is okay. I find our students much more risk takers than many others. They tend to just go for it. The level of expectation, the, the level of discourse, the number of ideas that are flowing and infecting one another. It's at once terrifying because there's so much going on, you have to wade through it, but also you have to get your voice out. You have to sometimes protect yourself. There are many different angles into this thing, but I think overall it's incredibly productive. And I, I end up leaving the building thinking thoughts that I never otherwise would have. We have the environment, we have the attitude and atmosphere and we have the freedom that allows creative production here not just to flourish but to be pursued as an advanced discipline. And we have individuals from 44 different countries applying to this little school of 500 students and 70 faculty. It's a really precious aspect of the diverse population of students and faculty. I said, how many of you expect to be running your own office within three years of graduation out of 100? I got actually 200 hands. There's something about the genetic code of this place that brings us all here to play our best game. The school turns out people who can think independently, deeply and passionately about something, people who are proficient, utilizing cutting edge tools, in some ways, the tools that are, that are available to students here at SciArc are ahead of the curve out in the industry. So we see graduates coming out with skills that are not even in the architectural profession right now. They've gone out and they're now in leadership positions in large offices or they're teaching. I, I value very much that extended community. It's certainly always strived to be innovative. While it's always strived to do that, it's doing a much, much better job these days of actually achieving innovation. One of the most important things for me is the real qualitative difference of innovation at the school in recent years compared to over its history. We are only a school of architecture. We are fairly nimble, and I think we can move faster and adapt fast to change. What each generation has to do at SciArc is to scrutinize itself and to see where it's strong, to see where it's inadequate, and to be able to acknowledge those inadequacies as well as the adequacies. SciArc is for visionaries. Experimental. Interrogatory. Transformative. SciArc is original. Relevant. A sleepless school. Creation itself. Elastic. Explosive. State of mind. Freedom.